That is about as much as I can tell you about this game, guys. A cyberdog out there recommended this game for me and I checked it out. And you know what? This game is freaking sweet. Damn. So guys, I hope you got your Coke. I hope you got your popcorn because it is time to get behind the wheel of a sweet ass truck. Mm. It is going to be freaking sweet. Right, so the first thing that we need to do, it looks like, is make a new profile, Rendiggity Dog. I'm going to be the truck driver, Rendiggity Dog, and we're going to have to choose a picture for ourselves. Whoa, man, these dudes are ugly. Damn. Um, I'm going to try to find someone that looks a little, a little something, something like me, I guess. Looks like we can't use custom profiles in this game, but that, ooh, look at this dude. This dude actually looks like me with a sweet ass afro. We're definitely going with that, man. Check it, that sweet ass fro. Oh, man. Okay, next up. <laughs> man, that is awesome. I can't believe how much that actually looks like me. It's kind of scary. Um, right, we need to, to prefer, uh, we choose our preferred truck design. Looks like we're going to be going for Cyberdog Red. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go for the Majestic. Cyberdog Red, man. That is awesome. Company logo. Let's have a look. Does it? That looks very much like the Dogcraft Cyberdog World logo, does it not, guys? Definitely gonna go with that one, man. That looks exact. That looks exactly like the Ren Dog logo. What is up with that, chance, man? This game was made for us, right? Company name. Um, let's call ourselves Cyberdogs Incorporated because all of you Cyberdogs are gonna be coming along for this crazy ass ride with me, man. All right, let's create this profile, baby. Let's get our asses into a truck. All right. Select control method, keyboard, um, we'll go for simple automatic, I think. I've, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. I think this is if you if you have a steering wheel and pedals and stuff. I just have a keyboard, so we'll be going for the, uh, the simple uh, keyboard layout. Finish the wizard, please. Get my ass into a truck. Now, guys, I've heard some pretty sweet ass things about this game from many cyberdogs have emailed me and told me that this game is awesome. So I'm definitely going to give this a go. I hope you guys enjoy it. We're obviously going to start in London, the United Kingdom, because that is where I live. So we are going to start in London. Do you want to walk through the tutorial? Hell yes. Oh, man, this is going to be epic. I I'm guessing, I've always wanted to drive a truck, man. When I was a little kid and I saw trucks, I just thought they were the most awesome thing ever. And this, the name of this game is Euro Truck Simulator. So I am assuming it's going to be very realistic. And there is London! Whoa. That, it's a very clean London, guys. London definitely does not look like that. But there is the Gherkin. There is a building that is yet to be erected. It doesn't look like the Shard is there. But that looks pretty awesome, man. This game is looking kind of uh, realistic. Uh, let's have a look. What does it say here? At last you have the chance to experience your dream job, driving a truck. Um, yeah, that is a dream job for me, I must say. Uh, your own transportation company is now open for business. But sadly, you lack the money to buy a truck. For now, you'll have to work for other companies as a driver for hire. Right, so we're working as a driver for hire over here, guys. Your task is to safely deliver a load of apples to sell plan dock in London. Your employer has provided you with a vehicle and will cover all expenses. Don't let anyone down and arrive on time. Gotcha. So that is our mission. How easy is that? Okay. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Check out my truck, man. Ooh, we're going to get a sweet ass lady up in there. Mm, 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 mm. Man, maybe we can get, get Beatrice along for the ride. Uh, right, so E to start the engine. Now, I have looked at the keys already, guys, um, on, the, on the wiki, and apparently... One changes the view, so there's one, two, cha ooh, hello, there we go, we get a, a really sweet ass view of our truck, that's looking pretty sweet, checks, there is us inside there with our afro, wait, I don't have an afro, oh, that is, that is some, that is just not cool, and number three is just like above view, oh, okay, whoa, that's going to be impossible to drive like that, I think what we'll do is stick in the cabin for now, um, let's just check, um, yes, this is indicator, you can see I'm turning on the indicator there, press E to start the engine, Bam! Oh, that is starting awesome. Okay, check it out, right? So that is indicate left, that is indicate right. Okay, guys, so what we're going to try and do is actually drive this bad boy as realistically as possible, right? Now, I consider myself a pretty good driver, so I think we'll, I think you guys are in safe hands! That doesn't look like the right way. Um, and this is a giant-ass truck, so let's see if we can actually get out of this parking lot without bashing into anything. 
This is it, obviously this truck doesn't belong to us, so we don't want to scratch it or anything like that. Um, there are other camera views available. See which one suits you best. Let's have a look. Well, I kind of like that one. Um, this one is crazy. I'm definitely not going to be using this one. Um, right, it's time to make a delivery. Use Root Advisor to see where you are and where you need to go. So let's press F1. Oh, okay, awesome. So this is like a sat nav up in here, man. Check it out. Okay, awesome. Man, this act, this is so realistic. This is sweet. All right. Um, F6 to switch to job description. F1 goes back to... Uh... No, take me back to... Take, take me back! Current job. Okay. All right. So we're in the current job, right? Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is the sat-nav. We are back into sat-nav action. All set to go. Follow the navigation towards your destination. All right, let's do this, guys. Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> um, I wanted to play this game because, uh, you know, while we're getting ready for, for Minecraft Season 3, I wanted to play something that was completely different. And it doesn't get more different than this. Uh, let, let me say. All right, let, there's our left indicator. Let's make sure we look both ways. For those of you guys who know how to drive, uh, you know, you got to check both sides of the road before you, you cross, especially a motorway like this. There comes a car. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Here we go. All right, there we go. Sweet, sweet. Oh, oh, guys, I've forgotten uh, to tell you, but I have installed some MP3s into my truck. The robots, uh, or sorry, the, the traffic light has just gone red. In South Africa, we call traffic lights robots. I know it doesn't make any sense, but I've installed some sweet-ass tunes into this truck. So I'm going to press R to go to the um, go to our MP3 player. Let's get these tunes banging, baby. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is some sick beats. Mm, damn, this is going to be a sweet journey to wherever the heck we're going. All right, so it looks like... Oh, wait, I just turned off the engine. My bad. Um, right, we are turning right as soon as those uh, traffic lights turn green. And, uh, man, this is epic. Guys, what I thought I would do on the way to our current destination, looks like we've got... Oh, naught miles to go? Oh, oh, check. There is... Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got to wait for the traffic to pass. Oh, this tune is banging all up in there. Damn, I want to turn up the volume of this bad boy. Oh, Damn right, that bass goes right into my soul, man. Man, surely they could have just carried all of this fruit across to this destination. I mean, did we really have to, you know... Did it... Oh! Enter the dock and find an unloading spot. Well, I would enter the dock if they would open the freaking gate. Oh, wait. This is, this is the wrong way. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to... Sorry, everybody. My bad. My, my bad. Uh, lady, my, my bad. Um, uh, my, my bad. Man, she is angry. Damn. All right, let's do this. Uh, oh. All right, there we go. Whew. Okay, there is the entrance. Um, that was that was a close call. Oh, check out that bus filled with tourists. That's awesome. All right, indicate left. We need to go into this yard over here. Here we go. Let's change our view just so that we don't smash into any walls. Oh, Lord. All right, there we go. Sweet. All right. Here is an arrow or something. Okay, there we go. Break. Sweet. Press enter. Delivery has been made. Excellent. We got an excellent for that job completed. And we got 363 euros for that. Awesome. Um, okay, so I guess that's the end of the tutorial, right? Pretty basic tutorial, I must say. Um, but I'm, I, for some reason, I'm really enjoying this game. Um... I know it doesn't make any sense, but um, I, it's kind of fun. This is your headquarters. It is a pretty basic garage. It may not be much, but it's a start. Unfortunately, you haven't got anything to park there yet, so there are no trucks in sight. Once you've earned enough money and bought a truck, you will be able to move in the world freely and run your own business from here. Good luck. Okay, so that looks like it is our uh, task, guys. There is my sweet-ass afro. Here you can see your progress. Okay, so that was the tutorial done. We have done the tutorial. Um, so, I mean, these beats are, are pretty sweet, but I think they're kind of loud at the moment. Um, let's turn down that music volume just a tad. I like the UI of this game, man. It's really, really simple. All right, let's have a look at the job market, shall we? Uh, get hired as a professional driver. No fuss. Everything is provided for. Just pick a job and drive. That sounds exactly like what we're going to be doing. Let's have a look here, guys. So, London to Rotterdam. Damn, son. That is uh, pretty far. Um, London to Rotterdam. My lord. We get 2,677 euros for that trip, though. 21 euros a mile. Uh, that seems like a good... That seems pretty good. 
Uh, that's oranges, clothes, fertilizer, or plastic granules. Um, why don't C C Calais? Where is Calais in France, right? Um, let's have a look. Where is Calais? It's down here somewhere, isn't it? Where is Calais? Calais? Man, I'm probably embarrassing myself, actually. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, oh, there's Calais. Okay, so Calais is pretty close to London. I think we're going to go with the Calais one, right? Because Rotterdam is in the Netherlands, man. Rotterdam is freaking miles away. All right, let's take the gerb and uh, let's get our drive on. Mm. All right, guys. So what I thought I would do, right, in this series... Because obviously we're going to be driving a lot, right? What I want to try and do is tell you guys a whole bunch of sweet ass stories, man. And I want to be telling you stories from, uh, oh, from, you know, my, my experiences and and from life and and whatnot. And I may even start reading out some of your guys' emails in this show because I assume we're going to be driving for a long ass time. Let's have a look at our new truck. Oh man, that is looking sweet. Check it, that man. All right, so we know how to get out of this jazz. Um, we need to get our ass out of London. Now, if any of you have driven in London, you will probably agree with me that there is certainly more traffic in London than there is in this game. The traffic in this game does not reflect the true traffic of London. In fact, in London, it's almost impossible to move anywhere. Uh, it takes you freaking forever to do anything. Left indicator. Let's make sure there's no incoming traffic. Well, if there is, they're going to have to wait because i got a giant ass container of fertilizer, I think. This is an, an, an incredibly uh, explosive truck we're driving right up in here, man. All right, we're going to take a right turn at these traffic lights. Um, but yeah, guys, that's exactly what, that's what I wanted to do. I'm going to tell you guys some, uh, a few stories. And I thought that I would start by telling you the story of the very first job that I got in London, right? And, you know, we're playing a game where my job is a truck driver. We're starting in London. So I assumed, you know, it would be a good idea to tell you guys about the very first job that I got in London. So... Um, I left South Africa after selling everything that I owned. I sold my car, I sold all of my furniture, my, my everything man, uh, to come and live in Europe, to come and start a new life in the first world. And uh, it was a, a, a 12, 13 hour flight. And I got here and the person that I was staying with, whoo, my bad. <laughs> the person that I was staying with uh, was working, right? So. Um, I had to find my way from Heathrow Airport all the way to their, their flat. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road here, my bad. Um, you know, all by myself, really. And, uh, man, it was pretty intense using the tube system for the first time and whatnot. Oh, wait, I have to obey the speed limit, right? Um, I don't know what the speed limit is. I think it's 30 uh, miles an hour, so let's make sure we don't go over 30. Or we're going to get our ass fined, I assume. There are cameras everywhere in London. Um, so anyway, I got to this flat and, and uh, the, the person that I was working with, it was a girl. Okay, I know what you guys are thinking. It was a girl. And uh, yes, it was an ex-girlfriend. Yes, yes, yes. You guys caught me. Uh, I didn't even have to tell you that. You guys worked that one out by yourselves. I know you did. Um, anyway, I was staying with her. Nothing happened, guys. The intention wasn't for anything to happen. We were friends and I was staying with her. And she told me that I could stay with her in her flat, right? Um, it's probably not good to be telling you guys this, guys this story while driving a giant ass truck, but hey ho. Uh, right, we are at a traffic circle. Let's make sure we take the inside lane over here to show everybody that we are actually going around this traffic circle. Oh, this is another banger of a track. Damn! Uh, anyway, so guys, I was staying in this flat and I started looking for a job, right? Because I came to England, I had to convert my currency, which in South Africa is, is, is a rand. And a rand is, a, is not a very valuable currency, let me tell you guys. It is not a very valuable currency at all. So when I got to London, all of my rands basically evaporated. And uh, we're taking a left turn here. Let's make sure that we indicate. I think I'm going to uh, change the view for a bit. Um, and I needed to find a job quick, fast, and in a freaking hurry. And as most of you guys who live in England know, the first place to go is Gumtree. That's where you find jobs um, in, this, in, in the UK. And I think in America, it's like a Craigslist or something like that. Man, it is noisy out here, man. I'm going back to the cockpit so I can hear my sweet ass banging tunes. Damn. Um, so anyway, I was on country looking for a job and there, there was the, do the job description. One to make 100 pounds a night. And I was like, yes. Do you have a good personality? And I was like, yes. Do you like working at night and having parties? And because I was younger, I was like, hell yes. And I was like, well, this has got to be the job for me, right? Checked it out. And what the job was, was selling tickets to clubs in London, on the streets of London. So what I would literally do 
um, is go to Leicester Square 11 p.m. at night and then try and sell tickets to people. Oh God, breaking, breaking, must turn. Did I, oh, I just got a ticket also. Oh, man, I just got fined, just lost some cash. My bad. <laughs> well, it looks like we're on a motorway now, right? So now we can really get this truck going at full speed. But anyway, it was the graveyard shift that I was working, trying to sell tickets to clubs in London, right? And uh, I phoned them up and I said, I'm, I'm, you know, I've got a good personality. I, I think I'm fairly good looking because that was also in the job description, must be good looking. I was like, I'm okay. Um, I've got a good personality. I like talking to people. I've got an interesting accent. Maybe that'll help me sell tickets. And, and the lady was like, yeah, you'll be perfect, man. You'll be amazing. You, you'll make so much money. You won't know what to do with yourself. It's all cash in hand. You don't have to pay taxes. We pay you on the night for your work. And it, oh, I got another fine. 550 euros. <laughs> okay, we gotta take, I gotta watch that speedometer guys, it is 30 miles an hour only. Uh, anyway, so I went to Leicester Square where the head office of this place was and I signed up and my first shift started and all they gave me was a clipboard and a whole bunch of tickets and my, um, my goal was to walk up to people in the streets and to stop them while they're walking and to say to them, do you want uh, to go to a club? I will get you in for half price if you go, if you buy the tickets from me. Or, you know, I would say, you know, you'll all get a free drink if you buy the tickets from me. If some of you guys have ever done this job, let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know if you've had the same experience. Now, with me uh, that night, just starting up, was a guy from Australia. And he was literally uh, the kind of guy who walks into a room or walks into a club or into a bar and just owns it man he's like the king of the world everybody wants to be with him everybody wants to know him all the girls you know are all over him all the time like the most charismatic guy that you'll ever freaking meet man he was amazing and uh and uh you know i, I was really shy right i pretended to be to not be shy but when i get into public I'm, I'm a little bit shy looks like we're hitting the motorway and a sweet ass trance song has just come on so this is perfect we can kick this puppy into full blast man let's get this truck going come on baby Hit that full, I mean, I don't know what the uh, the speed limit is, but I'm guessing it's 50 miles an hour, so I don't think this truck can actually go faster than that anyway. Look at, oh yeah, baby, woo! Damn, now we're trucking. <laughs> anyway guys, so I was with this Australian, right, and we went out together because what you had to do was go out with a partner the first time around so that you could help each other, you know, like, like basically like going, going with a wingman, right? Um, so that you could approach people easier. And uh, he, he was amazing. I mean, the, within five minutes, he was walking up to groups of people, charming them, selling them tickets. And this job was commission only, right? So you only got paid per every ticket that you sold. So it was something like 25% uh, commission or something that for, like that for every ticket that you sold, right? And uh, this dude was just coining in the cash. And I was, oh, it's 60, the speed limit is 60. Let's kick this puppy into full blast. Um, and, and I was watching him and I was thinking, okay, I can do this, you know, I can do this. This is easy. Just walk up to people, you know, sell them, sell them a line, tell them that you can get them into a club for half price, get them like, you know, good drinks, nice cheap drinks, free drinks and whatnot. But that, you know, that, it's got to work. If this Australian guy can do it, surely I can do it, right? That's what's going through my head. So I'm in Leicester Square. It's about 1 a.m. I haven't made a sale. It's been about two hours working. Uh, I haven't made anything. So far, it's cost me more in public transport to actually go there than what I've earned so far, right? And uh, which, is, which is, you know, ne never a good thing, really. So I was determined to make a sale. And I saw a group of about, it must have been about 10 people, right? I'm going to get into the fast lane here. Um, and uh, man, this game is so awesome. Check it, look at the graphics. They are so cool. Um, man, I'm going to try to stay in my lane. People are going to think I'm drunk. <laughs> Um, anyway, so I, I, I plucked up enough courage. Um, well, that is that is another story in itself. I actually, after two hours of not making a sale, I got really nervous. So what I decided to do was just hop in quickly to a bar and, and just have a shot at Jack Daniels. I thought that the Jack Daniels would maybe take the edge off, you know, and that it would make me more confident um, to, to, to sell tickets to people. So I had a shot at Jack Daniels. I was feeling good now, you know. I was, I was like, okay, I, I was buzzing. I was ready to sell tickets. And there was this group of about this is actually really difficult to do with a keyboard, by the way. <laughs> there was a group of about 15 uh, people, about seven guys, seven girls, something like that, right? All, all dressed up to the tee, ready to hit the clubs, ready to hit the night, man. Have a sweet ass night in London. And I thought, these people, these are the people that are looking for a club, man. These are the kind of people that I'm looking for. This is my ticket to a McDonald's dinner tonight, man. And uh, I, I walked up to them 
and, I, and um, I saw them coming down Leicester Square and what I thought I would do, my approach would be, is to walk up in front of the group and stop them, right? They'd literally stand in the middle of their, their path so they couldn't go past me and they would have to listen to me. Uh, and because that's basically what the Australian was doing, right? He was literally like getting in people's way. So I was like, I'm gonna mimic, mimic this Australian. He's obviously doing a good job. I need to take this uh, turn off over here, indicate turning left. Um, bus, get out of the way, dude. So, I, there I am in Leicester Square, this huge group of people approaching me. I am ready, oh my goodness, this road is so narrow. Um, man, imagine you had to drive a real car or a real truck with a keyboard. <laughs> that would just be absurd. Um, right, so I was ready, guys. I was ready to make my first sale, right? And, uh, man, I was pumped. And uh, I walked up to these people, and I literally stopped right in front of them. I stopped them in their tracks. And I was like... Hey, what's up guys? You guys look like you're ready to party. I think that's exactly what I said. And there was a stunned silence. An awkward, horrible, stunned silence, man. I mean, they they were not happy that I literally just stopped them. And I, I presume that there were a few guys that were talking to some girls. There was some flirting going on and I literally just killed the vibe. And uh, I, I recognized it happening and I sort of stumbled over my words and I was like, I'm, uh, no, 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 no. Um, w w if you buy tickets from me, I, y you'll get them half price and, and, a, and a free drink. It's a really good deal. And uh, still, silence, awkwardness, no one responded except one guy who pushed his way through the, the crowd from the back, looked me straight in the freaking eyeballs and then punched me in the stomach. <laughs> And uh, he hit me pretty hard. He winded me, man. He hit me like right on my diaphragm. And I literally curled up into a little fetal position ball on the, the ground of, uh, of Leicester Square. And they all just walked around me, basically, and continued on their, their journey. I've got to turn right here, man. I've got to indicate that too. Let's just make sure. Oh, incoming traffic here. Um, and that was, that was my very first night of my very first job in England. And let me tell you guys... Um, oh, this guy's stopping for us, also. That was the last time that I actually worked at that job. Thankfully, the Australian was nearby and he saw it happen and he sort of came up to me and tried to, uh, you know, preserve what, what dignity I had left by picking me up and telling me everything was going to be all right. And in fact, later that night, he actually invited me um, out for something to eat and then we went to like a, like a, a wine bar or whatever and he, he paid for food and drinks the whole night just because he felt so bad. He was actually a really nice guy. Dude, if you are listening, thanks, man, for helping me out that night. And, uh, you know, I owe you a, a dinner and a good night out in London, man. <laughs> but, guys, I hope you enjoyed that story. That, that was uh, my very first working day in London, man. This game kind of reminded me of that, and I, I wanted to share that with you. But we are about 70 miles outside of Calais on our uh, current mission to deliver this huge tank of fertilizer over here um, in this Euro Let's Play Euro Simulator 2 uh, series. I really hope you guys are enjoying this game. I really am. There is something incredibly addictive about doing this. It, it must be the, the scenery, right? Because the scenery is really good. I mean, look at this. It, it is absolutely stunning. You've got the, the, this weather effect going on. The sun is coming out. Um, whew, almost hit that, that barrier over there. Um, you know, it's really, it, it does feel quite realistic, although I doubt you'd be able to take corners like this at this kind of speed in a truck. But uh, whatever, we ask no questions. It is, after all, a game. Um, but guys, now... Ooh, look, there's the sea! Spotted the sea first! I get the freaking cookies when we get, when we get to our destination, man. That is a game my brother and I used to play when we used to drive to our uh, coastal town for holiday. Whoever saw the ocean first would get the cookies at the end of the journey, would get the loot, basically. Um, and uh, my brother always used to win, but I, I, have, I have a sense that my parents let him win because he was younger than me, you know what I'm saying? Freaking Goxie. Goxie, I will have my revenge, I will get my freaking cookies back. It's the last thing I do. But guys, we've got 50 miles to go before we get to Calais. And uh, I think we have get, we have gotten to the end of this episode. What a what a ridiculous video this has been! <laughs> but I've really enjoyed it, guys. And if you have enjoyed it too, now is the moment in time to let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, then we will continue with this series. If you hated it, then well, <laughs> this will be the first and last video of Euro Truck Simulator 2012. Oh, 2013, I think. <laughs> I've probably got the name of this game completely wrong in this video. But guys, thank you so much 
for watching, man. I will catch you in the next video where we will be continuing on our journey uh, down this very picturesque highway on our way to Calais, France to deliver this fertilizer. This has been Ren Dog playing Euro Truck Simulator 2000 and Euro Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> we will see you in the next video, my friends. Goodbye.